This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good night, good night, Kayla Sloan. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful night? I'm doing really well, especially because I get to talk to you. Oh, I feel the same way as well. What part of the world are you in right now? I am in Nebraska, in the middle of the United States. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this specific time in history? I work online as a project manager and... A good friend of mine, Letitia Styles, actually recommended that I talk with you tonight. That's so wonderful. That's wonderful. Right. So let's talk about that. Networking. If you're in the online space, networking is huge. Who did you learn that from? I learned it probably from the very first person I ever met through blogging in the online community, which her name is Catherine Alford. And I have to credit her for really being my inspiration and bringing me into this world. So tell us, what do you do exactly in the online space? Yeah. So as I mentioned, I'm a digital project manager. So I help my clients keep their businesses moving forward, keep all the parts and pieces moving forward, basically keep the wheel turning and make sure everything gets done. Which is so important, right? Uh, And of course, in 12 minutes, you're attempting to super summarize what you do, yeah? But I'm guessing there are many moving parts. Oh, there are. There are so many moving parts to online business that people don't even realize unless they dive into it and start their own business. Which means that your systemization is huge, I'm guessing. Yes, I absolutely love being organized and setting up processes and systems. It's a passion of mine for sure. Do you color code your your clothes in your cupboard? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So why will you continue to be this person, this person that keeps things organized, not just for yourself, but for other people? Yes, I absolutely love doing it for myself, my personal life, for my clients and business. It's Seriously, it's amazing. And I love the feeling I get from it because it makes me feel really appreciated. And like I'm a big part of my clients' success when I see them do amazing things. Hmm. Now, where's the best place for someone that's listening to connect with you? On my website at kaylasloan.com. All right. Tell me one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years, please. I have consistently been inconsistent. Does that count? It does. It definitely counts. (laughs) Tell us more, please. Yeah. I, you know, a big part of online business and figuring out who you are as a person, even in life, is just like trying new things. And I have tried lots of different things over the past three years. I've tried setting lots of different types of habits, and some of them stick and some of them don't. So I would say I'm consistently inconsistent, but I feel like I'm always moving forward Hmm. with everything that I do. How does it make you feel like looking back from now to then? How does it make you feel? When I actually take the time to reflect, which I don't do often because I'm so like goal oriented and driven. But when I do, I'm amazed at like how much I've actually accomplished in the last three years. It's just, I don't often take time to look back on it. Hmm. So why would you suggest others that are listening do what you've done by not just, not just being inconsistent in a way that isn't, uh, not not profitable, but beneficial to yourself, but to continue to be that person that's inconsistently changing. I think change is a good word. You're consistently mm-hmm. changing, right? Uh, why would you suggest others do that? Because I think if you're not changing, you're not growing as a person. You're not getting to experience everything that ha- that life has to offer you. And that's really a shame because you only have one life to live. You only have one time to do everything that you want to do in your life. So why not do it? Like what's holding you back? Definitely. No, there are so many people that are selling so many things in the online space. And mm-hmm. uh, many of those are empty promises. Uh, what's one thing you'd suggest to someone that's listening that you know works, that they can do as a litmus test, if you would, if they're going into an online business? I would say before you 
um, purchase anything from someone in the online space, make sure that they actually have gotten results for themselves or for the people they work with. Like verify those testimonials, you know, see what you can dig up, do your own research. Don't just believe everything you read. I mm, love that. I love that. Amazing audience. Again, you're hearing it live from Kila Sloan, and you can connect with her at KilaSloan.com. Kila, let's switch gears for a moment now. Let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Kila, what's your earliest childhood memory? One of my earliest childhood memories is visiting some extended family down in Florida when I was a really little kid. I think I was about two years old. And I remember sitting at the breakfast table and they had this huge dog, or at least it seemed huge to me at the time, but I was later told that it was a puppy. <laughs> but as a two-year-old, it seemed huge and I was so scared of this dog. Why do you think this memory is so clear? I'm not sure. You know, I now as an adult love dogs. I've owned dogs for almost my whole life. But at that point, I think it was really one of the first dogs I had really been around. Hmm. How do you see that memory connecting to who you are today from the perspective of at that time, it was so huge. And then after it's something you love. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I think life's like that in the moment no matter what it is, like in this case, it was a dog, but like in the moment, things may seem so big to you or so important, but if you take time to look back on it later, it seems less, you know, I guess to, it, it comes into perspective. That's really what I'm trying to say. And so if you face something scary or something unknown, it may seem scary and huge at that time. But looking back on it later, it's really not so scary. Hmm, that's great. Can I add something as well? Mm -hmm. I think like uh, what you do from the business side of things where you take the big thing and break it down into smaller pieces Mm -hmm. It's a good way as well as putting things into perspective. It's it's very efficient when you have huge goals. But when you break it into smaller pieces and you have someone like yourself managing that uh, so that it gets done, I think that brings great value as well. That's a really good point. Mm -hmm. If we fast forward to when you were 12 years old, what was your favorite song? I'd say definitely something by Garth Brooks for sure. I grew up on country music. Love it. All right, my friend. Well, we have now arrived at our destination. But before we get off of this time machine, there is a small declaration form. So it's yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready? I'm ready. Keila, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Yes, I actually have a mentorship program and I love teaching other people how to do what I do in the online space, but also just talking about life in general and sharing anything that I've learned with others. Hmm. The conversation is very important, isn't it? It is. There's so much more to online business than just online business, right? It's about life success too. I agree. I agree. Are you married? I am not. Do you have children? Just dogs. Do you really have <laughs> I do. Do you have an inner circle of friends? I definitely have a small inner circle. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Nope. How about three hours a week? Yes, more than three hours a week. What about screen time, the phone and the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? More. I'm guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I never got that answer before. <laughs> what about reading? How often do you read? I try to read every day at least a chapter or two. All right. If you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who you are, Kira Sloan, what would you say that is? I would say try to leave everything better than it was when you got there. So you know, whatever you're doing in life, like if, if you borrow something from someone, what can you do to make it better before you return it? Right? Mm -hmm. Like, just what can you do to improve things? Love it. I do love that. Kila, this has been such a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? I don't think so, but I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. I appreciate that. You as well. Kila Sloan, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. This segment has been brought to you by Amazel Enterprise.